guess, and it was on June 26th when I was traveling down I-70. And uh, I just got through rinsing off my motor because I wanted to look nice and clean and see where all the leaks was coming from. And as I was traveling down I-70, my belt broke on my car. And I was going 75 miles an hour in the fast lane. And uh, it wasn't nothing but the speed that kept me to the exit. And uh, as I got to the exit, I had no power. I had no steering wheel. I had no control at all. And I wasn't for sure if I was going to be able to make it or not. But I did make it over to the side. And as I did make it over to the side, I was thinking, man, that belt just broke on my car. So I pulled over to the side, and I had roadside assistance that I called on my phone. Uh, and I couldn't find the number. So after I found the number, I finally uh, got in contact with someone. They told me that it would be roughly an hour before someone come to get me. So I said, well, let me hang out here. But it was hot, and I was sweating, and I had nothing to drink. So I called my wife to come and pick me up, and we went up and got something to drink. And then I actually had time to go to O'Reilly's and get a new belt. And I went back to the car, put the belt on, and the tow truck man, that's when he showed up. And he asked me, what seems to be the problem today, sir? And I said, well, the belt broke on my car, but now I don't need your assistance. So what do you want to do? He said, well, I'm still getting paid whether you want the tow or not. And I said, OK, well, just follow me to where I was going. And then once we get there, you can just keep on going by if I make it. So as I made it and I drove on up to the place where I was going to get my car fixed. How you doing, Jimmy? I got up there and uh, I looked around and I seen that I had some more stuff leaking on my car and now I didn't have no air. So I think it might have been just because of the belt being broke that I lost the air on my car. So now I'm thinking to myself, should I have bought this car or not? Maybe I should have left it at the auction where I got it from. But I come to find out that it was a pretty good buy. There wasn't a whole lot of things that needed to be fixed on the car. And um, I think I might come out all right. So I just have to keep on moving in the right direction. And as I move, I can see that it's not going to be too bad, awful sad, because my belt did break, but I got to where I was going safely, and I'm glad that I did.